Duke agonized. Harry punished a trooping the collar after Meg's it trouble, military dress taken away. Prince Harry has been pictured at Buckingham Palace in a smart dark suit, after having to give up his military titles and uniform after stepping down as a working royal. Harry leaving the spotlight meant he was stripped of his honorary royal titles including Honorary Air Commandant of RAF Honington in Suffolk and Commodore-in-Chief, Small Ships, and Diving, Royal Naval Command. He also had the role as Captain General of the Royal Marines, handed down to him by his grandfather Prince Philip, taken from him as part of the final deal for him and Meghan Markle, 40, to step back as frontline royals. It means he has been unable to wear his military uniform after losing those titles. Last year, Prince Harry reportedly signed on the dotted line to do Oprah just 24 hours after losing his military titles. The titles removed were Captain General Royal Marines, Honorary Air Commandant of RAF Honington in Suffolk and Commodore-in-Chief Small Ships and Diving, Royal Naval Command. A source told The Sun, there was a bus stop just before Oprah but it wasn't to do with Archie's title. That had been known and discussed for quite a while. Harry and Meghan were very cross before Oprah because the final Megxit separation had just been signed off which included Harry not keeping military roles. That was what made him so angry. He's very emotional and his military roles were very important to him given that he served. Earlier his wife Meghan appeared to playfully shush young royals as she made her first appearance at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee on a balcony over Horse Guards Parade. The Duchess of Sussex was all smiles as she chatted with Savannah and Isla Phillips and Lena and Mia Tyndall and appeared to be popular with the young royals. Showing no sign of nerves she was also spotted sharing a joke with Savannah Phillips, the daughter of Princess Anne's son Peter Phillips and his ex-wife Autumn Kelly. A royal source said, it's fair to say that things between the Duke and Duchess and the rest of the family have been strained to say the least in recent times. But so far they have kept to themselves and their promise that they wouldn't overshadow the celebrations. Royal expert Richard Kay said, on Harry and Meghan's comeback, was the lack of a picture with William and Kate deliberate. He explained, this was the first time Kate and Meghan had been together since the Duchess of Sussex accused her sister-in-law in her TV interview with Oprah Winfrey of making her cry over bridesmaids' dresses. What a message a photograph of the two women chatting side by side would have sent. If they were prepared to project an image of togetherness to the world and let bygones be bygones, then surely critics would have followed suit. If there is one thing we have learned about Harry and his wife, it is their skill at curating an image through the use of pictures. Remember that first Christmas card after their wedding? Artfully arranged in black and white, it showed the couple silhouetted against the fireworks that concluded their wedding reception and with their backs to the camera. Us against the world, it roared. Judging by the pictures which did emerge from the trooping viewing area, known as the Major General's Office, it would have been entirely natural if a photo of the two royal women together had appeared. For Harry this must be the hardest of homecomings, because he has been reduced to little more than a spectator. Unable to appear in military uniform like his brother William and uninvited onto the Buckingham Palace balcony, he might have preferred the obscurity of being among the cousins who reside far down the royal line of succession. The tragedy is that before Meghan came along, Harry was the very essence of a popular 21st century prince. He was what every romantic expected a dutiful young royal to be, not only good looking and a brave soldier, but someone who could laugh easily at himself. Indeed, laughter accompanied him everywhere he went.